Rated everyone 10 and up. This is Bill Harms, editorial manager here at Gas Powered Games, and what you're seeing is footage from a game that I played against Paul Levy, our PR and marketing guy. Um, Paul sits across the hall from me and talks a lot of smack, so we finally decided to just, you know, settle our differences and hear him again. Yeah, I, uh, I talk a lot of smack, and I really have no reason to, because I am not nearly uh, as experienced as Bill is at these games. But uh, that didn't seem to matter for this game. No, it didn't. No. Um, I got a little cocky, and since I knew that Paul was, you know, kind of crappy at games, actually, I went straight for Tech 2 and neglected to build any Tech 1 base defenses or units or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And that's tried a, to expand. That's interesting, Bill. I think what really happened there is that I was just building really cool big things, and Bill wasn't, is really how I look at it. I mean, here I'm building a Tech 2 Navy factory, which produced these uh, destroyers, which pretty much destroyed you. Yeah, that's true. But you know, you know the old saying about sun shining on a dog's butt. It happens at least once a day. Bill, I don't, I don't even know what that. Here means. we got some engineers heading up. I was actually going to build a Tech Two artillery that would shell Paul's base, and that's what those engineers are going to start doing. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what you were doing over there. All I know is that I was sending in these very large, scary, monstrous machines that were just kind of picking you off like, uh, like, like you were a fly. Yep, they were. But here you see the beginnings of the artillery with a uh, clear view of Paul's base. Yeah, actually, I, I like I said, I had no idea that this was going on. Um, so I got pretty lucky that he built that in the late part of the game. And, you know, all this really goes to show is that even if there's two players at different skill levels, if one of them employs a strategy that really isn't that sound, they can still be beaten by somebody, you know, who isn't as experienced, which I think is a really cool thing about the game. Yeah, I think my strategy was just brilliant. That's what it comes down yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. We're all proud of your strategy. He says, what about the strategy employed the second time you played? I don't know what you're talking about, Bill. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be the next subject of these movies, and we'll see how that one has, turns out. I think the outcome will be very different from this one. Well, I, I really like the outcome of this game. Here you see the artillery getting finished up, and it'll start to fire. Um, if I had had another minute, um, I'm sure I would have taken out Paul's commander. Yeah, well, you didn't have another minute, and that's what's really important to remember. Because I, uh, I had sent my gunships over to your base, and your commander was just kind of sitting out there. Yeah, he was. I was, I was trying to build... Um, actually, at this point, I was trying to build a T2 air transport to pick him up and get out of there. Bill, Bill is your but commander running away? No. No, he's a hero, man. He fights. No, it looks like he's uh, running away from my gunships. Looks like your gunships are running away. Probably from just him. to make things easier. Is it more like suicide? Look, and I'm that, up here. Get me. And get then in me. the end, I decide to walk off into the sunset. A hero to the end. Oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, there's your sunset. 